What's up, guys? Chris here, back again with some more advice. Today, we'll be talking about uh, test boosters. Just answering the question, do test boosters work? Uh, first off, it, the answer is it depends because obviously, if you use an ounce of critical thinking, uh, just the classification of you know like a test booster or a testosterone booster uh, isn't enough detail to actually know what what we're actually talking about. So they're uh, test boosters in general are marketed as, you know, it's like, oh, this is this is a supplement or some proprietary blend that is going to increase your testosterone naturally. Uh, and, you know, there's traditionally in the market the, for this is is like overhype. There's tons of hype, tons of, of uh, like bodybuilders, steroid bodybuilders that are promoting this stuff as if it can like give you the same results that it gave them. Uh, there's a lot of nonsense going on, so and that's part of the mission that we're that we're pursuing with Truth Nutra in terms of uh, like really uh, disrupting the supplement industry in that way. There's there's been traditionally for the last 10, 20 years just so much BS going on in in the supplement industry with the way that they sell to people, the way that they market, the lack of the research behind any of their ingredients that they use, and it's uh, all this stuff is extremely prevalent in the test booster space. There, there are a lot, of, most test, and that was why um, we made TestroX in the first place, because everyone kept asking us which test booster they should take, and there are, are not any good ones out there, other than now that we have TestroX, but in, and I would have happily recommended another one to somebody if there was another one out there, but there's not, so they, in, because, and the problem is basically is that, that people... Uh, that are building these supplement companies don't know anything about the science behind any of the supplements. They just uh, are there to sell more supplements to people that are uneducated buyers. I prefer to take the opposite approach by educating people on how to actually solve certain problems. And uh, if supplementation comes into that equation, you know which which minerals, which vitamins, which herbs they should be using, uh, you know, to, to get that desired result. And with test boosters. Uh, there are a lot of things that come and go. There's a lot of like popular stuff that people hear about. Uh, I've done videos on this channel about things like tribulus, uh, fenugreek, uh, saw palmetto, that sort of stuff that that is out there that is traditionally found in in test boosters, but has real no science, no real scientific backing, or it does something like block DHT production, which um, is like a false positive for increasing testosterone, and it usually leads to uh, more sexual health issues for people that that are like pretty t it can be very bad side effects um, you know there's there's a lot of shenanigans one example is is the diaspartic acid uh, whole thing comes out the study comes out that shows uh, that diaspartic acid um, you know has this massive 150 percent increase in testosterone and so everyone and their mother starts buying this stuff turns out that another study comes out to try and replicate the effects and over a month saw zero effect. So that it turns out that original study um, was actually, you know, just bad science. It was fabricated. And uh, then another study comes out, comes out and shows that diaspartic acid lowers testosterone. So there's, there's all, that's just one example of how the hype that the supplement industry uses can really confuse a lot of people and it can drive them to buy stuff, but then it's not based on any long-term value. Um, so you're probably wondering, you know, what actually works uh, there. I like to think of things in, in like groups. So first off, the group of micronutrients. I've, I've talked a lot about this, talk about it in the book, Master Your Tea. Uh, I've talked about it here on the channel. There, uh, one of the biggest causes of low testosterone in general is micronutrient deficiencies. So that's vitamin and mineral deficiencies. So uh, when you can correct those deficiencies, there's research showing that it brings your T levels back up into the normal range rather quickly within a matter of weeks. So that's probably the most affordable, strategic way to increase your testosterone. Um, there, the micronutrients, you know, you can look for. I, have, I just did a video called the top 11 key micronutrients that increase testosterone. That one will have more info. Uh, but, you know, things like vitamin A, vitamin D, uh, zinc, magnesium, K2, calcium, boron. These all have tons of evidence showing that they increase testosterone levels when you uh, either increase, you know, sup with supplementation or, or correct deficiencies. Uh, another good class is some herbs. There are some really good herbs out there, usually adaptogenic herbs because they're anti-stress uh, that will increase testosterone, improve all sorts of biomarkers. 
Ashwagandha is my favorite. Uh, it's Forsklin. Mucuna is really good. Uh, it helps with dopamine. And uh, Tongkat Ali also has a little bit of research on it, though it's not an ex extensive amount. However, these, you know, in general, Ashwagandha, Forsklin, Mucuna, and Tongkat Ali, if you're going to take those, then, then uh, you know, you should have some, some good results. Uh, and also don't expect them to be steroids. Like it's not going to blow you up to unnaturally large levels and look like a freak, you know. So just manage your expectations. If you're looking to increase testosterone production, then increasing testosterone production is naturally going to help you, you know, have a better natural physique, but it's not going to give you some kind of like insane roid freak physique. So just don't expect that. That's one of the problems that a lot of people have. I think is they have just unrealistic expectations about everything in general. Um, and they have like lack, they lack, a lot of people lack the ability to, for critical thinking. So they, they just want everyone to spoon feed them everything. And that's how the, uh, the, they get into a lot of the problems, like falling for the tricks that a lot of these people pull on them. So you should keep, you know, keep critical thinking or start critical thinking. I know a lot of people that watch this, this channel are, you know, pretty smart people. So, um, there are some other car compounds too, that have been shown to increase testosterone production. Uh, taurine, carnitine, uh, well, carnitine helps increase availability of, uh, androgen receptors. So that does help with the binding, uh, creatine also phosphatidylserine, which is one of my favorites. It's in our cortigon, uh, probiotics also can increase testosterone production by lowering cortisol specifically. Uh, the gut brain connection is in extremely important and, and usually under, underutilized, undervalued and bromelain also, you know, all these either preserve or increase testosterone levels. So, uh, long story short, do test boosters work? Answer is it depends on what you're talking about. Um, look at the ingredients, not just the class of test boosters in general. Um, Testro X is the best formula out there on the market. And that's because, uh, we formulated it specifically to be that. And, uh, no, still no, but there's no copycats yet. So it's good. Um, yeah, hopefully you learned something from this video. If you want more good information, then you should subscribe. I'll show also if uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm on Instagram underscore Christopher Walker. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.